with you and today we're making some Christmas uh, postcard and I thought that would be different from for Christmas and I've got some digital images from Lula Luna girl design and I made them smaller so that they would fit on this I wanted to have a vintagey feel so if you are part of my newsletter you will have received some painty paper that I made and I thought it would be really fun to make those postcards with this and I've got this as the backing as well uh, because I want to make five postcards out of this so hopefully we can make it fit and the postcards will be in my Etsy store because I figured it might be fun um, it might be a fun gift to give to somebody or to mail them out I know it's getting tight uh, with the the deadlines but um, maybe you're giving gifts in person so you could attach that as as well so anyway that's that's the goal for today and we're going to be making the five so I'm not going to pull out the timer I'm just going to go for it and just figure out that we're making five postcards with a similar similar design maybe it's going to go really fast but maybe not <laughs> Who knows because sometimes my fast videos are not so so quick it's it's entirely possible so this one I'm gonna put six inches and then I'll cut because I want to keep the bigger part of it um, for making something else so I've got one two three three out of one so let's it's gonna be four or five and then I'm gonna have this big piece left actually I had another piece that was already cut oh well too late it's not like I'm not using this this paper a lot this cardstock so it's gonna come in handy to, for something else I'm sure. Okay, so we've got the six, the five I mean, and I'm just going to start off by, by putting these on top. Um, I'm going to be, well obviously I do the, the, the glue and the, um, and the tape, but I'm also going to be distressing the edges just because I, I really want the vintage feel for these postcards. I think it would be very pretty. And the images are very um, vintagey, so they must be from old cards uh, that have been scanned. And I have a few of those that I should put a, as a digital kit to sell, but I never got around to it. So many, so many things, so little time. That's basically what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut around the excess because this is a little bit. And I said I was gonna unglue my scissors and I didn't. But at the same time, I've already put glue on top of this, so might as well use the scissors that are all glued up. So I hope you're doing well and starting this this month of December. It's going to be a busy month, I'm sure, for many of you. It's a busy time of year. I'm uh, taking some time off. Um, the week before the holidays. And then I'm off the week of the holidays and, and another week after, which is going to be so nice because it's been a crazy busy fall and I really want some time off.
Oh, here's another one. Whoops. I feel I'm gonna get all gooey, but anyway, I love that I recycle stuff when I'm making these postcards. It's just a lot of recycled paper. Yeah, of course, when you purchase from my Etsy store, not only uh, are you supporting the channel you're supporting a local a local little business and I love to be able to recycle things for my store I always stamp the back of them with um, my penny black stamp. You can find the, um, it's no longer with a wood mount uh, the stamp, but you can find it in my favorites on Amazon. If you're interested, go and check out the description box below for the link to that. And you'll find as well the postcards in the link in the description box. I really need to clean up those scissors. Oh boy. But it's a good thing I didn't do it yet. Okay, so now I'm going to distress all the edges. Just love distressing edges these days. I don't know why. I, I might distress the edges of the other images as well. I also have my vintage photo that I thought would be nice to put on top. And I also have a big, uh, some book page that I thought maybe I could put a little strip of the book page underneath the image. Just as an added vintage feel. But at the same time, I don't want to be covering too much of my painty paper. But I think I really did a good job on, on that paper. It's always done on uh, old calendar pages that I recycle. I just think it's a fun, fun thing to do to try to recycle as much as possible. And it's supplies that otherwise will go in the bin. Uh, so you're giving them an extra life.
Okay, so here we go. Now, if I was to was to do like this, I can do two. Then it's going to be short for the other one. But that's the best, I think, the best way to do it. I do have two pages of this, but I would have liked to keep some. How big are my images? Let's cut out the images first, just to have an idea. That one completely crooked. Uh, okay, here's one. I tried to make them big enough so that it would go well on a postcard. I had printed I'm getting confused because I had printed them bigger and in the end I didn't like it that big so I reprinted on the back of the paper so that I wasn't wasting a card card store stock but it may, it's making me confused because when I'm folding when I'm looking at the paper I it looks like I've cut an image which I did but it's the, it's an image that wasn't good anyway so Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm making any sense, but I'm making sense to me. And I might not look like I'm wearing, uh, I started wearing my Christmas sweaters. And I might not look like I'm wearing one, but it is, it is a Christmas sweater, if you can check. And it says that as a December girl, I've got three sides. Um, this was a gift that I got. And uh, I love it. I pull it out every December and start wearing it. Put all, all my Christmas sweaters out. And okay, so it could go this way, but it could go this way. I just feel like it's going to be better if they're that way. Except for the one, obviously, that's like this. Because they're going to take more room and just be nicer. Okay, so. I was to make this a little bit smaller. Maybe what I should do. Is put. Whoops. Put the book page underneath. Like, let's say. Let's say. underneath so let's say five and a half by three oh, by this much because I don't want to see so it would be something like that and then I would put that on top And clearly, I have to be careful with with what what it says because that's not a good book for Christmas. 
So let's see. What do I have that I could use and that wouldn't be saying something that's not good? One, two, three, four, five. I could use a dictionary page, but it's not. But my dictionary pages in the book page. Wonder if I have any other book that I can pull from. Okay, I think this one might be better. to trying to see what what it says that okay. That's one thing when you're using pages, you have to make sure that uh, that it's not saying something that's not good because obviously that won't that will be nice for Christmas cards. So, okay, so let's start this again. Okay, so let's save this. And then I can put this. I can make this smaller like that. So if I was to do this, it would be let's say something like that. So so I would have enough to make all of them. How big is this? This is four and a half. So four and a half by let's say three. By three. And then I can include the little leftover pieces with with my set so something like that I think that would be very pretty right okay so I'm gonna do that so now I've got one we said uh, three by four and three quarters it's four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. 
and then by three, right? And then this one four and three quarters by three. So all these little pieces will go with it. So do I have five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So that worked out well. Oh, now I still have to do these. So really cut the success. I don't like taking precise measures, but the papers Okay, so we've got all the papers done. Now it's a question of assembling and edging everything. So I'm gonna do the edges of these papers first. I won't distress the book page and the um, and my painty paper because the paper's thin, and I've got a feeling like it might not be good um, to to do it. Like it's gonna tear, and I don't want it to lift in the in the way that would make the postcard tear in the in the mail. So. I'm gonna do it that way. It's nice when you can do them in series like that. It goes faster. So I, I have the part two of the video that I made last week that I will be sharing. I also would like to do one with um, some papers from the paper pack. Uh, I also thought of making one with, um, with stickers. And then I also have some uh, wood pieces. So I don't know how how many videos that is, but I've got a feeling that my month of December is pretty much like my the videos that I want to do are going to be. So today's postcard, one day stickers. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way to the. the I'm probably the beginning of um, January as well. 
But then for a happy new year, it might be good to have a video of Christmas card making. Because, you know. Okay, so all of that is done. Now to edge all of these. Oh, I think that's very pretty. It makes a nice a nice look. Like before and type of like after like the edges it really adds that vintagey look that i'm going for with these and they have little sentiments on them already so that's kind of cool Ex like very vintage looking. Okay, so here we go. Put that away. I can put this away so that it's not on my desk. And now it's a question of assembling. So we're gonna. Just go for it. I don't know why my thing is off center. Now put some glue. So, and then whoops, I almost oh shoot. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? No, 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 no. Thank God for the glue. So don't do that. <laughs> Thank God for the fact that I added some glue to this. Um, I was able to lift it clearly I would not have been able to lift it otherwise and clearly the book pages doesn't like the book page doesn't like to have the tape runner on it so I'm just gonna add some tape to this and then just be very careful to go all the way to my edges with this that would have been so disappointing if I had finished it. I probably heard all you guys yelling at me that I was missing a step. Okay, so then and I can put this back.
And that's also the good thing with using glue as well as the tape runner. It gives you that that extra time. Should feel the paper like it really the paint that I've used on it, especially the gold. It really gives this paper a, a feel that's quite special. Okay, so I'm not sure if I had put the glue on it or not, but I'm just not gonna take any chance because clearly I'm forgetting steps. So do I put it at a corner or do I slant it up a bit? Or straight? Kind of like it a bit more off center. And you see a little bit more of the painting paper, I feel, because like it's going off the edge. So here's the first card. Okay, so let's do this smartly. Let's let's pull let's put this paper first on all of them. So this way I know that I'm not making a mistake. Now can I put this on? guess if I go very slowly Paper is old, so which is why I didn't distress it because I don't think it would have survived the process of the distressing and everything. Okay, of course, the tape runner is finished. Okay, so here we go. And uh, do the last last one of these.
And voila. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to add this piece to all of them. Oh boy, my fingers are getting very gooey. <laughs> that's what happens. But at least I know for sure that they're gonna stay stuck. So that's that's the that's the goal of doing this. So what are you guys up to? What are you crafting? Uh, have you done all your Christmas cards and have they been ma mailed out? Uh, I need to mail my net mine out. Uh, that's still on my to-do list. I love that paper. I think it turned out really awesome and I hope that you guys enjoy it in the newsletter. Of course it's not going to be as shiny uh, when you print it out but I still figure it can be fun to, to use as background paper. Here we go. And then I'm just going to put this here. So home stretch. Pretty sure it's going to be a pretty long video. Even though I said, okay, that one I'm going to put straight. So here we go. And uh, put this one slanted as well or do I put it straight? I do want them to be a little bit different and not just the same. So maybe I can do two straights and two slanted. I do this one slanted and this one straight. Here we go. the one and finally the last one I 
And that's the last one of the series. So here are my five postcards. I hope that you've enjoyed me see uh, me make these and they will be in this will be included with them so that whoever purchases it can play a little bit with that painty paper. And that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next week for another one. And I love you so much. Take care. Bye.